Well, I'm going to see if this gets up. I'm going to hold it like this. It, it, the camera I have to be looking at, and it's on this side, and where I turn the video and, well, anyway, of uh, the turn the video on and the galley and all that. Anyway, it's on the other side. Uh, this wasn't meant for my phone. Uh, I just put up three, uh, I believe, well, I'm going to put them up after this one, three uh, videos, I believe it is, or two anyway, and it's about the Watergate hearings, and I, uh, you know, I hope they reopen them, uh, that's all I can say. I get into where the Gonzales comes into it, it was at the Kissinger, the 18 and a half minute gap. Uh, in the Watergate tapes that were subpoenaed, where they've got me on the table going to lobotomize me in College Park, um, Georgia. Gonzalez also uh, is, I think, related. I know that Gonzalez is a popular name, you know, but he's uh, related to uh, Victor Gonzalez. They're friends anyway. Gonza Victor Gonzalez was in Miami where Virgilio Gonzalez lived. He was a um, locksmith, and uh, Gonza Victor Gonzalez of the what ha was happened to me on the Watergate tapes, eighteen and a half minute gap. He was in Miami at a uh, club when Patula Clark, the English uh, singer, very nice lady, downtown was one of her hits. And she was there singing, and they called her over to the table. And later they, uh, well, they cut her vocal cords, caused whatever happened to her vocal cords. She's British or English. So anyway, this Gonzalez Virgilio is part of the Watergate break-in. And if you care to, it it's informative. Most people have forgotten about it now. But uh, you get the Rockefellers that concluded they had a Rockefeller hearing into the um, Kennedy assassination. Of course, that would lead back to their part in what was done to me and Kennedy's part of what my kidnapping and taking me to Moulton, Alabama, and the crimes done against me and my children and the Brits. So the Rockefellers, what in the heck? And that tells you right there, why were they in charge of it? But you, you really need to, I don't know how well I put it up. I tried. It's got quite a bit in it. But I can remember Jack Hartsfield, the reporter, he was FBI, that saved my life. He's F, actually FBI undercover with the paper. He was honest from everything I could tell. Um, he It's like a game of chess in this, where this chess move means something. Uh, after I'd met Jack when I was working for the district attorney, Fred Simpson, Madison County, Alabama, uh, and was almost killed again April Fool Day of 80, Jack saved my life. And his nephew is Hank Hartsville, uh, commander of a couple of shuttles. I throw that in so that people know that Jack wasn't just any person out there that I'm talking about. Anyway, he saved my life. He After Huntsville, he moved to, um, well, he actually moved to Santa Fe. And Santa Fe, right next door to it, is Abiquiu, and that's where my Aunt Georgia O'Keefe has ghost ranch for all those years, and they took her money. And they just destroyed, really, the O'Keefe's and any money they had. My uh, Dad, Edward VIII, was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, my mom, and uh, they, the Illuminati took him down with character assassination. So what I put up, I was talking to Jack, though, and I remember at one point he said, I got to go, I got to go, the plumbers are at the door, I got to go. Well, he was talking about, he was cryptic. There wasn't any plumbers fixing the oh, boy. <laughs> Whoa. No, I just thought of something. <laughs> oh, me, you have to laugh at some of it. Anyway, um, Jack was saying that the plumbers, are, they're the ones sent out to kill or to take care of the situation. And of the Watergate, the plumbers in the Watergate. 
break in and all that. So, uh, who was it? Well, I'm gonna, not going to, maybe you want to read, uh, look at that. Uh, anyway, but uh, really, I'm babbling because I didn't live that. I, I read it, I know part of it, and it's connected, but I can't go back and now. Uh, I scribbled it, I well, messed it up. Uh, I don't have papers and stuff to do it on. I wish I had a dictaphone, I could do it. But anyway, um, it's on two of those um, videos I'm going to put up after this one. Probably get turned off before you get this one. <laughs> um, I just saw and I tried to put it up and it wouldn't go. So or I lost it. It's I, this. It's this um, phone and this holder is not right for it. So I lost the whole feed on it or whatever you want to call it. But it, they just came up with this and had a long uh, stretch of it. And I just want to give you this one I've said before that hopefully it was going to be the end of it, of it. And hopefully it is. And I'm just going to point out a couple of things in it. And I'm pretty in tune to it. I've told you the truth all about it. And I know what I'm talking about when I say it's a subliminal mind control murder. It's done in patterns. So what happened today as I was doing this other video about the Watergate, and they should reconvene it and hear all of it and what happened to me and all this be told. There's a lot more to it. But anyway, um, they had the little girl, I believe, they found yesterday, but her name is Jamie Close, or I believe is her name, Jamie, J-A-Y-M-E. Jamie uh, is... The, the girl's name, female name for, uh, or spelling for Jamie, J-A-M-I-E, which to me means Jameson. Um, anyway, that name is very, very important to me and where it's at. Uh, some years back, British. Can I say that? Am I allowed to say that? I'm talking to myself here or to whoever. Oh, there's nobody in here but me in the television, but <laughs> nobody else wants to hear me. I have to cry out in the wilderness. <laughs> uh, anyway, the little girl's back, and I'm not, I'm not even going to clarify that. Oh, I'm not even going to say anything. What I just saw while I was doing these tapes is a Wisconsin law enforcement, and there was a long stretch that they told on CNN. And the little girl was 13 years old, and she was found in Barron County, and Barron has a whole lot to do with the patterns and all of these. And um, okay, uh, she the little girl got away from the kidnapper. They killed her parents in a she was two counties back from Barron, where she got to when she uh, gained her release, got away. Her parents were killed in two counties uh, in Wisconsin, away from where she was found. And um, this is going to be like Elizabeth Smart. That was a mind control murder, but nobody ever told it. She had books, and I'm not demeaning her, I want to say that again, even though I'm the one that's been demeaned and nasty, sick in telling about this, because I, in part, it should have been told, in part, it's a part of all this. And in the end, it makes me wonder, you know, but back to this. Her name's Jamie, and she got away from them, and she got to where somebody saw her and immediately knew who she was because her picture's all over the papers and everything and TV. I walk out the door, people wouldn't welcome me, uh, except maybe a few on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, I've been so told all the, it, it's how I've been treated and done and the crimes and people tell me they just didn't care. Uh, they didn't want to hear it, get away from them. Uh, they believe, it's not that they don't believe it. They don't want to get involved. So, 
I ne I've never gotten all these nice things except a few on YouTube that's been said to me. It's the other way around. Every name in the book, um, respect, what's that? Okay, certainly not for, well, okay, I, just let me get to this. They're telling how rough it must have been for a 13-year-old girl, and I agree. Not taken away from that. I was two years old when I was brought over here and dumped in a pigsty, and everything in God's creation has been done to me and my sons, Mark and Scott, my father and mother. And let me remind you, she was born in Madison, Wisconsin, as in, in the patterns, Madison County, Alabama, is where the district attorney Simpson, which married... Um, Wallace Simpson married double, not my father. My father, King Edward VIII, was married to my mom from Madison, Wisconsin. Now this, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, now this, uh, oh my God, this is Nancy Pelosi in all her glory. Oh my God, I don't know when this. Uh, anyway, um, the little girl's name's Jamie, and it's very important in all this, and hopefully this is going to be the end of this where it's told. Um, the, and I was waiting for the the guy. They said they'd arrested him, but they didn't tell his name, and I was watching to see if they told it, because it's a program. He's programmed, and he's going to stand murder uh, charges of murder and kidnapping. He murdered her parents and kidnapped her. And they're saying on their law enforcement that it, she was the target. Well, it's right because it's her name that fits into all of it, but so does his. I didn't get his first name, but it's uh, Patterson. And in the Patterson, you could go back to Sheriff Patterson after I was almost killed April Fool Day of 80. He, I passed a background check. Lana Dempsey, I was stuffed in her car and illegally in the mess that I was in, they'd done to me. And I, that's what I hope you see, too, uh, not just the Watergate tapes where the guy may not going to lobotomize me and all the other things. And, I, you know, very few times have I ever been called um, courageous or except on YouTube lately. Um, that's not been the way they refer to me. You'd have to see it, really. Anyway, the Patterson, the shooter here and the kidnapper here with Jamie, uh, kidnapped Jamie. He, uh, in, in, uh, she was the only target. It's her name. And the fact she's from Wisconsin and the Baron, and I don't know her father and mother's name. But the Patterson, it, uh, will go back to the district attorney's office, and I'm being redundant, in Huntsville, Alabama, in 80 when I went to work for him after I was almost killed. And uh, his name's Simpson, Madison County DA, and Simpson as in Wallace Simpson. I don't know what's going on here. As in Wallace Simpson that married the double, not my dad. Claudia Ruth O'Keefe from Madison, Wisconsin, is my mom, Queen of England, and they took it all out, the Illuminati, your Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, Kennedys, Joe Kennedy, JFK. So... It's done in the patterns, and I better get off because it's just been too much. I've put a lot up, and I had put a lot into trying to get together that on the um, Watergate tapes and going back on that, and I just, you know, I, I tried to put it up there, going to be on the next couple of videos. Then I'm going, I think I'm going to rest for a while. It's cold up here, too. Oh. Uh, anyway, the Patterson goes back to Sheriff Patterson in 1980, and he had, did a background check and went as required to go to work for the district attorney, Fred Simpson, Madison County, Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, also, there's um, When Jack Saved My Life Again, or Saved My Life, he did. That would have been November of 1981. Um, Lana Dempsey, mother of the twins, who I'm talking about is try a part of this hell, ongoing hell. She's dead now. Um, she tried to have me killed. That's how. And Jack saved my life. <clears throat> Patterson was involved in that, Sheriff Patterson. 
And later, when I went into his office, and I simply sit there as any one should be able to, and I wanted to talk with him or a detective, and I was told that he wasn't going to be back, he was out, and I should leave. Well, in fact, they're treating me mean. Anyway, I'm going to get to this. He, you have to know the part that he up, stood by and helped Lina Dempsey do. And John Sparkman, she was with him, the old senator, that was senator of Alabama, uh, so long to the United States Senate. So Sessions, all these people know it. Your former uh, Condoleezza Rice, all these, uh, just like uh, Henry Kissinger and the Rock of it, they've all known your Congress. So now then today, if I sound babbling, I'm praying that this is the end of it. And uh, it's told, I've hoped it before, but I seriously think this one is it. Um, anyway, it dates back to the Patterson, and I can go back to another Patterson, and it was the uh, governor before... Um, was he before George Wallace? or George Wallace was working, uh, running for president. Anyway, Lionel Dempsey worked in his campaign, Patterson's campaign. Now, I don't know if he was uh, related to Sheriff Patterson that I'm talking about in uh, Huntsville. And, I mean, he did a background check, helped me get the guy, you know, that I was allowed to work. You had to take it to work for the district attorney, Fred Simpson, in Madison County, Alabama. And then later he... Um, Helped Dempsey with what she did, trying to kill me. And Jack saved my life, Hartsville. I'm going to leave it there, and if it's babbling to some people, maybe it'll make sense if they finally tell it. Uh, and they don't focus on uh, trying to say that Donald Trump uh, <laughs> did a tantrum. And, uh, I, you know, right this moment, I may be awfully wrong. I've always liked Donald Trump. I think he's gutsy, and I, oh, please don't let him be my enemy. I don't think he is. I think he's the good guy, and so help me. I will be so glad if it's all told, and all these people have to suck it up. I'm going to ruin this. I really am. My phone.